Spirit Ofs. It is Tuesday and I am here with my absolute favorite, favorite drugstore products from 2013. Totally forgot what year it was. And if you watched on Thursday, I put up my absolute favorite products from Sephora, Mac, and department stores. Um, so that video is already up. If you are interested in that, go and check it out. And so for this video, just like in my high-end products favorites video, I'm not going to get into a ton of like long detailed reviews, but I will explain why I like the product and why it's a favorite of mine for 2013. So let's go. Isn't this a cute little basket? I got this from Target. It's not one of my favorites. I mean, it is a favorite, but it's not one of my like drugstore favorites. Anyway, so I'm going to start with the product that's on my lips right now, and that's by Rimmel London, and it's the Apocalypse Lip Lacquer. The one I have on my lips right now is called Big Bang, but the other one I really like is called Apocalyptic. These two are my absolute favorite because of the pigmentation. It's so, so pigmented. It's really easy to apply and just the color is just stunning and obviously need to give a shout out to my absolute favorite Lip balms from the drugstore and that's the baby lips and these are by Maybelline and I love them I have them in a bunch of different ones. I have the, I have the blue one downstairs. This one is peppermint and this one I don't know what it is. Oh Melon mania this one. I like scraping it out of the the end. It's kind of at the end of its life But um, both they're just really hydrating and that's the primary reason that I love them so much So 2013 was definitely the year of mascaras. I have four favorites. Don't judge me I have a reason for each of them and why I like each of them and I have their favorite for different reasons, so I'm just gonna go through it really, really quickly. First one is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. I talk about this every single favorites video since the beginning, and it's just a favorite. It's dramatic lash, it's awesome. Um, the next one is the Voluminous False Fiber Black Lacquer Mascara by L'Oreal. And this one is great because it gives you a lot of great length. The next one is the Maybelline The Falsies Big Eyes Voluminous Voluminizing whatever volume Whatever. Big, long, crazy name. But I used this in one of my Getting Ready With Me videos and um, I showed you how I applied it and how I used it and you can see the difference in my lashes from before to after. It's just incredible. Um, it gives you great curl. It holds the curl, which is really important because my lashes like point downwards and just don't stay up ever. So um, this is really good for that reason and it also has a lower lash brush as well which is really good for getting those like little itty bitty blushes because I have to admit I am terrible at those and I always end up with raccoon eyes so that's awesome. And then my last one is actually a recent favorite and it is, who makes this? L'Oreal. L'Oreal makes this and it's the Lash Out Butterfly Mascara. Oh my gosh it gives you such pretty pretty lashes. Uh, just really full and lengthens and just it's so easy to apply it and it's just they're beautiful 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 lashes so um, really highly recommend this so now got the mascaras done and I will move on to the rest of the products a hair product I really liked is by Nexus and it's their hydrolyte weightless moisture leave-in conditioning foam this stuff is amazing if you deal with a lot of static in your hair. I do because I have very, very fine hair. So whenever it gets really dry outside, my hair just goes Poof. And like you can brush it and brush it and it just goes back up and like everything zaps me and it's just, it's terrible. So this is really great because it doesn't leave my hair feeling greasy because that's a huge problem for fine hair. You girls out there with fine hair know exactly what I'm talking about. But I need something to kind of almost weigh it down, just the, but just the staticky pieces. You don't want to lose that volume. And this does a great job of just balancing everything out. So it is a fabulous, fabulous product. And the other hair product is by Tresemme and it's the Fresh Start Dry Shampoo, the volumizing one. I love the smell. I love how easy it is to incorporate into your hair. I love that it has a lot of product in here and um, it just gets rid of my greasy roots. I mean, who likes greasy roots? Nobody. Nobody likes greasy roots. For the eyes, I have three favorites. Number one is by Maybelline, and this is the Master Duo by Eye Studio. It is their, I want to say, liquid felt tip liner. So, you girls out there that has like just struggle with the um, brush liners, that I just I can't, I can't, I just I can't. I have tried and I have failed, and I have tried and I failed, and I just gave up on it. So the felt tip for me is a really great way to get that really precise line to your um, upper lash line to get that like cat eye effect, but it's so much easier to do it with this product. Like I, ca I can't, I can't even tell you. So much easier. 
tons of product in here. It doesn't dry out when you're like in the middle of drawing the line, which is great. The other thing that's nice about this one is it has a thinner side and then a thicker side. So if you wanted to do a really thick line, you could do that. You can start thin and then twist it to do a thicker outside. And then I love the Revlon Photo Ready Intense Eyeliner and Brightener. And the reason I love this, I've talked about this before in a favorites video, is the brightening stick. I have it on my eyes right now and it just brightens up your whole look so I could even do like a smoky eye like this one and add this to the waterline and it just makes my eyes pop they feel a lot bigger not feel bigger they look bigger <laughs> I hope my eyes don't feel bigger I just feel more awake and alive and my eyes look good and I don't look red and overtired from being a new mom because <sighs> yeah I'm tired oh I slammed on the lid too hard and I smushed it. And then the last one is by L'Oreal and it's the Carve Black Extra Intense Liquid Pencil Liner. And this is the most pigmented liner I've ever found. It competes with any black liner that I found from Sephora. It is just incredible. It's like it to me surpasses the Urban Decay 24-7 liner, which I know is like the holy grail for so many people. This stuff is so much better in my opinion. It's cheaper, 1A, but the pigmentation is great. It glides onto the eye so smoothly and it has the little, um, I don't, I don't know what this is. It's not a sponge. What is this? It almost feels like an eraser, but it's not an eraser and it's, it helps to smoke it out if you want to do a smokier look. Then what else do I have in here? And, um, ooh, yes, this stuff. Awesome. This is one of my everyday go-to products. As you guys know, I am a new mom. My daughter is three months old. She's in the middle of teething right now, so she's you know upset and crying a lot, and I'm not getting a ton of sleep. So if I need to get out of the house and go somewhere, this is my go-to product. It is by Maybelline, and it's the Age Rewind. Oh, I was reading French. Here we go. Oh, it's still Age Rewind. That's good. Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles Treatment Concealer. This stuff is so good, guys. It just, it takes away any puffiness. It really helps to conceal any dark circles that I have under my eyes. And it's just a brilliant concealer for that really sensitive area. It doesn't settle into fine lines. It's just overall just an amazing, amazing product and highly, highly recommend it. I have talked about this product before in a billion videos and it's just one of my go-tos. Easy, easy product to apply and it's by Maybelline and it's the Color Tattoo by Eye Studio Eyeshadow Back to the Bronze. This is my one-stop shop for doing eyeshadow. You just swipe it on, throw a little mascara on and you're done and you look put together and it just gives a little bit of a sheen. The color is gorgeous. I can't say enough good things about this product, it's amazing. And then a couple more things. I have my Annabelle Waterproof Lip Liner, and this is in Bordeaux. This is a relatively recent purchase of mine, but I love it. The color is like a really rich wine tone. It does not come off. I mean, it, it comes off, but like, it comes off with waterproof, like, makeup remover. It's crazy. I said this is one of my most recent videos, but in case you didn't see that, I put some on my hand just to show my sister-in-law Lauren the color, and I couldn't get it off. I was like rubbing and rubbing. I was washing my hands with soap and water and nothing. It was not coming off. So if you're looking for something that's going to stay put throughout the entire night, this stuff is amazing. And then one of my favorite lip glosses of the year that is in that berry tone that just looks so beautiful regardless of what time of year it is, but especially in the fall and the winter time. And it's by L'Oreal. It's a Color Reach Lip Gloss and this is in 720. I don't think it has a name but um, the color is amazing. If you're looking for a very wearable berry color, this is definitely a great product for you. Like I am very hesitant to put full on lipsticks into my purse um, if I'm going out or something, unless it's like going out for the evening because I want something that's like easy to apply throughout the day. I don't have to worry about it. And if I don't have a mirror on me, I can still apply it to my lips and know I won't look like an absolute idiot. So this is one of those products that gives you that color that you're looking for, but you can apply it and it's basically goof proof. I mean, like within reason, guys. I mean, if you start like scrawling all over your face, like obviously <laughs> that's not gonna be a good look. But for the most part, because it's a gloss, it's pretty forgiving and the color is amazing. And then my, ooh, just moved the basket, almost tipped it over off the desk. My last favorite of 2013, because this is a year of lipsticks and mascara, I have to end with a lipstick. And this one is by Maybelline. It's their Vivids collection. And this one is in Vivid Rose. I love this color so much. It's that 
beautiful rosy fuchsia tone color the pigmentation is gorgeous and it's just one of those really bright colors that just is so eye-catching and it just it's really flattering for my skin tone so I love it I loved it this year I wore it a lot and I just ripped out my hair and that is everything for this video give this video a thumbs up if you love drugstore favorites videos i hope you guys had an amazing amazing 2013 i know i did it was one of my best years to date because i have my beautiful daughter julia now and um i can't wait to see what 2014 brings um and i hope you guys are having an amazing week so far and i will see you all on thursday love you girls Mwah.